Hi, welcome to our YouTube channel. I pray that in this series and teaching of the fruit of the Holy Spirit, you'll be encouraged and blessed. My friends, there's no doubt that so much emphasis is placed on the gifts of the Spirit, while, while little emphasis is placed on the fruit of the Spirit. The enemy does not want you to bear fruit. The enemy wants you to focus on the manifestation of power, signs and wonders. Those are all very, very relevant and valid, and we need them. Because that's the demonstration of power. But at the same time, we need, we need love, gentleness, meekness, kindness. The fruit of the Spirit needs to be evident in our life every day. Now, I pray that through this YouTube clip, you will bear much fruit. You will have a greater and an increased desire to sit at the feet of Jesus, to drink deep from the cup of the Lord. The Bible begins in Genesis with trees in the garden bearing fruit. And in Revelation, right at the end, in Revelation 22, there's more fruit. God's desire for your life is that you become fruit-bearing. Jesus is described as being the vine and you the branches. We are called to be grafted in. You are called to bear fruit. God is the divine gardener. And it's supernatural. It's actually natural for us to bear fruit. My friend, Jesus says in John 15, I am the true vine and you are the branches. We are called to bear fruit. And if we don't bear fruit, what Jesus does say is that the gardener will come in. The gardener says, Father, and the gardener will cut our branches off. Lord Jesus, don't do that to me. And I pray that at the end of this YouTube clip, you will get a passion to be grafted deeply into the presence of God so that you can be a fruit bearer. We are called to reject sin and submit to the pruning of God in our life. In Luke 13, there was this young man who, who worked in the garden and the owner of the garden, the owner of the vineyard, saw that he had a fig tree and it was not bearing fruit for three years. So he wanted to just go in and chop it out. But the gardener said, Master, let's wait one more year and I'll tend to this. I believe that the God of grace is coming to tend to our gardens, to fill us again and baptize us again with the Spirit. Let the Lord come and wash over you and fill you this day. There's nine fruit of the Spirit, my friends, nine fruit, and they're divided into three categories. Galatians 5, 22 and 23 says there's love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness and goodness, faith, meekness and temperance. The first three, love, joy and peace, focus on your relationship with God. Long-suffering, gentleness and goodness, focus on your relationship with others, while Faith, meekness, and temperance focus directly on your relationship. While faith, meekness, and temperance focus directly on you, the individual. I pray that as you listen to the next three YouTube videos I will put out, that the presence of God increase in your life, that you sit at the feet of Jesus that you drink deep from his cup of love and that you go out bearing much fruit. I bless you. Thank you. And hey, please, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. You'll be blessed. I'd really not want you to miss out on any of this good teaching I hand out. And if you need some personal ministry, don't hesitate to call me. I bless you.